The user can register the stock documents to enter the documents, which can be accessed from the stock unit, documents register menu. By selecting the button with the arrow, the list of the kinds of stock unit documents will be expanded. This list depends on the defined document types entered in the program and the privileges of the logged in user. The primary income document is the delivery document, therefore we will select the PZ document from the document list. In the beginning, the program requires us to choose whether the net or gross values will be entered into the document. After this selection, a window will open with a list of suppliers where one should indicate the contractor from whom you received the delivery. After selecting the supplier, the program proposes to load the list of products accepted from this supplier. By selecting the Yes button, the program will base the list of products. Select the No option to present the addition of document positions. Next, complete the date of delivery to which the document will be visible in the program and a description of the source document, i.e. the number of the report we received from the contractor, the date of the invoice or delivery document, the date of payment and the type of source document. At this stage, it is also possible to specify the currency of the delivery document. This leads to the service of deliveries from abroad with automatic conversion of value into the national currency. The exchange rate can be taken from external sources, e.g. Poland, NBP, or it can be entered manually. After entering the necessary information about the document, we can proceed to input the document's position. Select the Add button or press the Insert button on the computer keyboard. A window will be displayed with the selection of products that have been defined in the product catalogue. Using a similar, as in the contractor selection window, filtering mechanism, we can select one or select multiple products to place them on a stock unit document. After confirming the product list, the program proceeds to edit the text. When entering items on the delivery document, information about the quantity accepted and the price of the stock product should be provided. After selecting the product configured as being subject to delivery tracking and the expiration date, the delivery ID must still be specified in the position of the entered stock unit document and from the availability calendar. Select the expiration date of the product from this delivery. Thanks to this, in the future, it will be possible to prepare reports related to the preview of inventory, including the expiry dates of individual products. By entering a stock unit document, the program automatically suggests the last purchase price, which can be changed during the editing of this document. If the purchase price significantly deviates from the previously entered price, the program will color the price cell so that the user will verify its correctness. When editing a document, one can enter further entries using the Add button. As before, a window appears with the selection of products that have been defined in the product catalog. By using the filtering mechanism, we can choose the product to be placed on the stock unit document. By adding a document position, one can also enter it in the supplier's measurement unit, e.g. in a bulk package. In this case, select the entity appearing on the delivery document and complete the contents field which should include the unit's provider's conversion into the central stock unit. Thanks to this, when entering goods in the supplies unit in the BOSS application, the price field, net or gross, regarding the price per unit of the supplier should be the same as on the document received from the contractor. It is possible to suspend it at any time when entering a stock unit document to move to other program options and later return to editing this document. The suspended document does not affect the stock and the document register is marked in pink. The suspended button is available at the bottom right corner of the screen. Completing the stock unit document is also possible by using the barcode reader. Reading the code uniquely identifies the position of the product catalog, which is placed on the entered document. At the end of the document edition, select the booking option at the bottom of the screen. 
The programme informs the operator about the difference in purchase prices concerning the last delivery. The contract option controls the price compliance on the document with those agreed with the supplier. After posting the document and with the cash service enabled, the programme proposes issuing an appropriate cash document if a cash payment has been provided in the stock document. Finally, one can print the stock document using the available print templates. The delivery document was a revenue document and we will use the internal issue document to present the expense document. First, select RW from the Document Records menu. A new window will appear, in the upper part of which will be the date of the document and the symbol of the stock unit to which the issue is introduced. Similarly, as in the case of the revenue document also here, with the Add button, we open a window with the selection of products to be included in the stock document. If a product subject to batching, i.e. control of deliveries, has been selected for the document, a window will open with the necessity of indicating the delivery form, which the expenditure will take place. For other products, only the quantity subject to the issue should be specified. The value of the products to be consumed is calculated based on the FIFO valuation method, i.e. first in, first out. The value of the products to be consumed is calculated based on the FIFO valuation method, i.e. first in, first out. In the case of service documents, you can also use the option to suspend them for later editing and posting. Suspended documents are in the register of stock documents. To carry out the sale disbursement, use the sales disbursement option available in the stock tab. The open window presents the list of products along with their consumption resulting from the sale and the current inventory. The last column shows the difference between consumption and inventory, which allows determining which items can be stored because they have sufficient inventory and which are not due to the lack of stock.